But in the kingdom that we are longing for, the Bible says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. In the kingdom that we long for, the Bible says we will sit on Jesus' throne like he sits on the Father's throne. In the kingdom that we long for, the Bible says that in my father's house there are many mansions. And Christ Jesus goes to prepare a place for us. That where he is, we will be also. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Isn't that a lovely thing? that the king of heaven and earth the king of kings and the lord of lords goes to prepare a place for us and the bible says that God is not a man that he should lie has, has he not spoken has it not come to pass so the God who cannot lie said right now he's in heaven preparing a place for all his children for everyone who has accepted Christ for everyone who believes isn't that a beautiful, beautiful thing? You see right now we're walking around and we think we're healthy and we're strong but the Bible says that we're sick my friends the Bible says that we have a defect, my friends. Let me give you an analogy. Let me give you a parable. So Jesus says that he did not come for those who think that they're healthy. But he came for those who are sick. The Bible says that the, the well have no need for a physician. He also said, I did not come for the righteous, but for the sinners. You know, just the other day, I, I ate some bad chicken. <laughs> and so it had me feeling weird. So I shot down to the pharmacy and they gave me some, some medicine to kill the, the whack chicken. <laughs> but the thing is, I was at home uh, feeling fine until I wasn't. And then when my stomach started feeling weird, I, I suck out the physician. You see, when something was wrong, I knew to go look for the physician. If you can look around this world today, you can see that we're all, that humankind is all in need of a physician. We can tell that by the wars that we have in our world. By the sicknesses that we have in our world. By the um, starvation that we have in our world. By the struggles that we have in our world. We can see that mankind or, or where we live on earth Things are very, very sick. We can tell by the earthquakes. The floods. The tornadoes. 
All this tells us that we live in a sick and fallen environment. So, so just like the other day when my stomach was hurting and I and I looked for a physician. You can look on the TV, you can look on the radio, you can look around Earth. And you can see that we're in need of a great physician. Now had I just sat there on my couch? Or had I just sat there in my home? And not set out medicine for my stomach? It would have got worse. I could have got even more sick. I could have possibly even died. But I suck out help once I realized something was wrong. And, and this is why we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's like a mirror. Or it's like a diagnosis from a doctor. Telling you that something is wrong. And that sickness that we have as a society. That sickness that we have as men and women. The sickness we have as boys and girls is sin, my friend. And what you know that you need, what you know, what you know that you are a sinner, then you're going to seek out the one that can cleanse you of your sin. Or the one that can heal your sicknesses. But just like when I had a sore stomach I had to recognize something was wrong and that's the first thing everyone has to do here today you have to recognize something is wrong within you if you don't have Christ something is wrong within you if you don't have Jesus and that thing that is wrong within you and let once you, once you realize something is wrong, you have to seek out the physician, my friends. You have to look at spiritual things, like physical things. If you're sick in the physical, there's a correspondence, a corresponding understanding in the spiritual. So, if you, when you are sick in the physical, you look for a doctor. I'm here to tell you today that when you're that now, uh, when you're sick in the spiritual, you must look for the great doctor. Amen. The great physician. That the one that can heal you from the thing that's going to lead to, to a great sickness. Being separated from God is a great sickness, my friends. To struggle on earth and end up in hell, that's a great sickness, my friends. To be an enemy of God, that's a great sickness, my friends. To love money more than you love God, that's a great sickness, my friends. To love women or sex more than you love God, that's a great sickness, my friends. To love men and to love men and muscles, that's a great sickness, my friends. To want to go to the club and shake your booty, that's a great sickness, my friends. 
To want to go to the club and get drunk and find out and find someone to fornicate with, that's a great sickness, my friend. To live your life for sinful fleshly pleasures, that's a great sickness, my friends. Okay, so just like a nurse and a doctor works together, think of think of, of Jesus, the great doctor. And I am his assistant, the nurse. I am his assistant, like a nurse. And I'm showing you the sickness in your life. Be it sex. Be it alcohol. Be it drugs. Be it false religions. Be it traditions of men. Big witchcraft. I'm here to tell you, my friends, all these things are sickness. And this whole place right here, this whole area is like a doctor's office. And I am like the doctor's representative. And I'm diagnosing your sickness right now, my friends. And I'm saying, believe in Jesus and call me in the morning. Uh, the prescription for your problems is Jesus. The Bible has a prescription for everything that you're going through. You need to open it and read it. And believe in Jesus Christ. And be saved. This is the way you're saved, my friend. I pray that everyone within, everyone that can hear my voice today, that the word of God touches your heart in the right way. And that it, it, it softens your heart. That God has mercy on your heart and He leads you to repentance. The Bible says a humble and contrite heart God will no way despise. The Bible says everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. The Bible says no one who's ever called on the name of the Lord has been put to shame. God wants to bandage your spiritual wounds. God wants to be your spiritual antibiotic. He wants to be your spiritual medicine. Just like when you're sick, you uh, take a pill to make you feel better. That, that pill goes inside of you and you are healed. No, nah. I'm here to tell you that when you accept Jesus Christ, he promised you the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit gets inside of you and, and you are forgiven. There's no other way to be forgiven, my friend. Except for the Son of God who died on the cross for your sins. When you believe in God, you get the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit resides in you just like medicine resides in you and He heals you. He heals you of your, sin, of your sinful life. He heals you of your pain and your stress. Um, he heals you of all the different things that you go through. And sets you free. And the Bible says, my friends, who the Son sets free is free indeed. Going home to live with you.